Hello, hello, ladies and gents. Guys, Julian here. Super excited to be with you for another Fit Tip Friday. Last week, we covered electrolytes. As you may know, we are dedicating the entire month of September to hydration. If you missed out on our electrolyte video, make sure you go to my page or go to Rock Multi Sports page. It will be available on both sites and check it out. Some great fundamental information. Today's topic of discussion is going to be hydration and dehydration. So let's get right to it with no further ado. Guys, let's start on the, on the good side of things. How about we start with hydration? Let's start uh, by stating that water is the most important chemical in the human body. It has many functions. And our bodies are made up, our body's weight are made up up to 60% out of water. That is a lot of water. As you can see, Mr. X over here is almost, almost up here full of water. And that's beautifully distributed. You know, nature uh, can be messy, but makes no mistakes. There's a reason why we have so much water internally. Some of the functions, some of the main functions of water in, the, in the, of water in your body are number one, regulating temperature. Okay, I mentioned a few here, regulating internal temperature. We do this through sweat. Make sure we're not too hot, not too cold. It also protects sensitive tissue. This means um, muscle fiber that we tear up during a workout. Uh, when you have soreness, right, in your legs, you got that leg day, oh my gosh, you, you know, you, you rode that bike for so many miles water comes in and protects sensitive tissue and aids to the recovery process and also cushioning the joints connective tissue we need a little bit of cushion and this is where water comes in and does its job most of our cellular functioning organ functioning all depend on water so speaking of hydration how do we assess hydration well as i mentioned previously urine and sweating are going to be, I mentioned sweating, I didn't mention urine. Urine and sweating are gonna be the main um, ways that your body expels water, gets rid of water. So, if I want to assess my hydration levels, I think those would be great tools, great measurement tools in order to assess how hydrated you are. Let's talk about urine. When it comes to urine, if you're getting a uh, yellow, dark, honey-like color, you are dehydrated. This is a sign from your body. The closer we get to a light yellow color, the more hydrated that we are. So that's one way to check. Another way to check is uh, for those of you that are very active or that work out maybe on an average basis, log information, weigh yourself at the same time for a couple of days and then weigh yourself at that time go work out when you come back home or when you go back to your office or wherever it is that you change make sure you get those sweaty heavy clothes out of the way and then weigh yourself if you are lighter if you have lost weight during a workout that is uh longer than 45 minutes then you need to hydrate then we are uh, maybe close to dehydration uh and that's what hydration really is fundamentally is making sure that we are putting enough water versus how much water is going out and vice versa with dehydration. Dehydration is when we expel more water than what we consume. So with that being said, now that we know what hydration is, the functionings, uh, the main functions of water and how much water we really carry in our body, let's go to what's really important and be preventative, right? It's all about prevention. Let's talk about dehydration. What I want to do here is I want to elaborate on a few signs of dehydration. These are very, very clear signs of dehydration and I want you to understand and I want you to keep them in mind. If you create awareness about something, then you will have a better chance of preventing that something from happening. So let's start with thirst. Thirst is very self-explanatory, but um, I want you to understand that this is not a mental-like um, thing where you might think you're thirsty. There's a big difference between wanting to drink something and feeling thirst. When you're thirsty, your mouth will be a little bit dry. You may feel a little bit of a headache. There's many signs. So when your body feels thirsty, give it some water. I think it's time to consume some water. Next one up, early onset fatigue. This simply means if you are a person that's active, or even if it's simply um, maybe like a daily functioning, let's say you walk your dog every morning, let's say you go on a run every morning, 
And all of a sudden, that same walk or that same run becomes a lot more challenging. There, there is a sign of dehydration. You might need to up your water intake, increase it. Next one up, increased perception of effort. This could be a tricky one. If you are aware and you, and you have an idea of how much effort you have to put into something, let's use the same examples, you're walking your dog or you're going for a run in the morning, and all of a sudden, you realize that you have to put in a lot more effort in order to complete the same workout, the same activity, then that is your perception, you're perceiving the effort at a higher intensity. So that could also be a clear sign of dehydration. Moving on to the next one, decreased exercise capacity. That's pretty self-explanatory. If you simply feel like you can no longer do what you were already doing before and you cannot complete a workout or you couldn't complete a ride on your bike or a swim on the lake, or like I said, simply bringing your groceries up the steps after you go grocery shopping. If that starts to become very difficult, you might want to check your water intake. Uh, next one up, increased body temperature. As we previously discussed it here, regulating internal temperature is one of the main functions of water in the human body. So therefore, if you're feeling like you are running very hot, this is a sign. Remember guys, your body is going to signal your body is going to manifest when something is off. We call these symptoms, right? So we want to get to the root of the problem so we don't have to treat the symptoms. Last but not least, fast breathing, increased heart rate and dizziness. That is going to, in most cases, happen in that specific order. You start by, I'm out of breath. Then you realize that your heart rate is a little bit higher than normal tons of tracking devices nowadays. So for those of you that do wear tracking devices, please make sure to get familiar with those numbers, your heart rate, maybe even blood pressure, you know, those are good numbers to have awareness of, and that way you can prevent things like dehydration. Um, guys, those are some of the clear signs of dehydration. And, and, and to be completely honest, um, there is no necessity of going and getting a hydrating supplement uh, or an electrolyte drink. Speaking of electrolytes, you know, a lot of our foods contain electrolytes and, and contain the, the, the minerals and essential minerals that we need in order to be hydrated, to have proper functioning, especially for athletic training. So bottom line is drink your water. If you're having a hard time, feel free to reach out. Feel free to talk to one of us, me or Coach Lizzie. We can give you a water protocol. We can help you out. There's many practical ways and it doesn't include chugging a whole gallon of water um, uh, first thing in the morning. You know, there's practical, gradual, compassionate ways of introducing water. Uh, and to simply to, to summarize here, a few cues that I want to give you, uh, especially since I bring up the electrolytes. Yes, those are necessary, especially if you're a high intent, high elite uh, performance type of athlete or where you're doing very strenuous workouts, make sure that you have electrolytes and you have some carbohydrates in some of your hydration drinks. Um, but regarding um, things like weight loss, I would highly recommend that you go with water. If you have a proper balanced uh, diet plan, meal plan, uh, you don't have the necessity to go to the electrolyte supplementation or, or, or go out of your way to eat foods that are packed in electrolytes. Some of these, and a lot of these, as a matter of fact, are gonna have sugars, they're gonna have carbohydrates, correct? Some of those are electrolytes themselves. So therefore, you may have a little bit of a hard time losing the weight. Um, also, water, consuming water, especially if you're having abundance of it, it's going to help reduce weight because of the fact that we may be able to trick our appetite a little bit. And when we feel full, we don't have the necessity or we don't want to eat as much. So that facilitates the, the, the weight loss process as well as uh, the actual breakdown of fats. When the body breaks down fats, it requires a lot of, a lot of uh, water. This is, process is called lipolysis. I, I believe I'm saying it correctly. Lipolysis is the actual uh, act of your body breaking down fats. So drink your water. Uh, there it is. If you want to take a little screenshot of the signs, if you guys want to go on the page and check out the literature, I did a small summary of the video. Question, comments, topics of discussion for future videos. Guys, please comment below. It's been always, as, as always, a pleasure hanging out with you guys on a beautiful Friday. Go have yourself an amazing weekend and uh, happy Friday and happy hydrating.